So tell us a little bit about what you do, like your ministry. It's a YPOA. What does that stand for? Why would you guys do? Young Prophets of America. Basically, we're just trying to get the young kids on fire for the Lord. Uh, let them feel a part of something. Let them know that oh, God wants to use you for who you are. He accepts all your gifts and just, he wants to take those gifts and enhance them and use it for his glory. When coach calls you off the bench, will you be ready to play? What's up, man? It's your boy Tay representing that YPOA. About to head downtown, you know what I'm saying? Do the works of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hand out some daily breads, hand out some waters, and try to just pray for people. You know what I'm saying? Get people uh, just believing again. Get people out their feet, showing God's love to people who need it in this time. Really ain't no words to say about what we about to do, man. We're about to go praise the Lord in our own way, the way that He gave us to do it. Get up boldly and rise to the occasion, knowing this ain't just another training day. In relation to all type of games, you're really looking for a checkmate. The game is chess, not checkers. Let's make sure you get that first thing straight. Our team jerseys say his sheep, and we in the finals against the wayward wolves. But be advised, learn from the serpent by being cunning and wise, refusing to play by these standardized rules. For everything that it costs, his team is undefeated, never taking a loss. Just run the plays Coach drew up, he'll reveal why he's the undisputed boss. Like Mr. Hun teaching the Karate Kid, unaware that class was even in session. It's almost identical to the father's methods when he schools us through his life's harsh lessons. We gotta be able to play both ways. Offense and defense. Because our opponent is seeking anyone to devour. And our payday lasts in eternity. No more clocking in trying to scrape up any hours. Don't be surprised if he hits you with a bribe. If he try to come and get you to switch teams. This so uncircumcised, prince of negative vibes, might as well be known as the master of all schemes. He came at me with his sweetest offers. And although tempting, he just couldn't afford me. I was bought with the blood of a savior that caused all of Earth's creation to fall obedient to a king's authority. I want to get back to the community, of course, because that's what God, you know, would just want us to make sure we have love towards each other and an open heart to one another. You know, humble ourselves down to make sure everybody can help one another. So we're just doing that out here in the streets, man. We're grateful. It's sad that they have to be out here alone by themselves. Some of them are in groups and we have to help those people out here because they, they shouldn't be out here by themselves. They really shouldn't. Well, I feel like, man, it's a movement, not a religion. The elevation of the next generation, that's how we do it. We want to be in the hood. We want to get to the streets. We want to get to the schools. We want to get to the neighborhoods. We want to reach the people outside the church. So that's what Young Prophets of America. And if you're a young person watching this and you believe in God, yo, you're a young prophet of America. Go on, take that, uh, that word of God to your school. Take them to the, to the block, to the basketball courts. Wherever you go, man, you're a young prophet. 